In this video, we are going to introduce function notation. So we give functions names when we want to refer to them. The most common name is f, just short for function. g and h are also pretty common. And sometimes you might use something completely different. Like if a function represents area, you might use A for area. If it represents a velocity, you might call it V. And this function takes inputs and spits back outputs. And we can express this compactly as follows. We write the name of the function in parentheses, we put the input equals the output. So let's clarify this with an example. And we'll keep the example we've been looking at. A family of four children. This function assigns each child to his or her oldest sister. So to use this notation, we first have to give this oldest sister function a name. And let's go with lowercase f. That's the most common choice. And we see when our input is Ronald, our output is Claire. And using function notation, we'd write F, Ronald in parentheses, was fair. And this is read of F of Ronald equals fair. Now, more realistically for our course, Suppose we have a function defined in terms of some kind of mathematical operation. Let's just make this its own page. So you have a function that takes an input and maybe it squares the input and it multiplies the input by a two, and then it adds those together and subtracts four. A function that does something like this. If we call this function f, we could write f of input, equals input squared.
squared plus two times input minus four. To write this compactly, in addition to naming the function, let's name the input. And the most common name for an input is x. And we would write f of x equals x squared plus two times x minus four. Working with mathematical functions like this gets its own set of notes.